When checking for vacuum leaks, it's a good idea to have a spray bottle with a couple of drops of dishwasher soap and full of water to spray the hoses. If you spray an area and bubbles form with the engine running, there's a good chance you've found your leak. Shown here are the upper crankcase breather hoses on your Cayenne. Pull the front engine cover off the top of the engine and inspect the hose between both valve covers, green arrow, as well as the hose connecting the air oil separator to the intake manifold, yellow arrow. Also listen around the area of the air oil separator, blue arrow, for any leaks. Also be sure to check the hoses, green arrow, on both sides leading from the air filter housing to the throttle body. These can develop cracks that can affect the fuel injection system. One other often overlooked place that can develop vacuum leaks is the small seal on the inside of the oil filler cap, green arrow. Replacement is easy, simply pull the old seal out and place the new one in its place. Shown here is the throttle body seal on your Porsche Cayenne. This is another seal that can lose its effectiveness over time. Please see our article and video on throttle body cleaning by following the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance. Shown here is one of the two large gaskets that fit on the underside of the intake manifold. While not common, I have seen one gasket that did fail. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video to see our article on intake manifold removal. Valve cover gaskets can also be a source of vacuum leak. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video to see our article and video on valve cover gasket replacement for more information. Here is the air oil separator that sits on the top of the right side valve cover. This can also leak internally and cause running problems. There is a gasket that sits inside the air oil separator. As you can see, the one in our project vehicle had been leaking, green arrow, because of this crack just above the seal. To check yours, please follow the link provided at the end of this video to see our article and video on repairing your air oil separator. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.